Hello, my name is Frank. Welcome to Learning in Technologies Quick Tips for Teams. Have you ever wanted to have a tab on your team site that is actually a web page so that users can quickly go to where they need to find resources all through the team's interface? In this quick tip, I'll show you how to add a website to a team site. Teams is a great central repository of information and discussions related to a project or some objective that we're trying to achieve. We also know that websites are a great place to go to get information. I can go in and I can create a new conversation and post a link to a website, but there's actually a better way of doing that within Teams, and that's to put the website that's frequently used directly into Teams. By hitting the plus sign to add a tab, one of my options is to put in a website. You can see it's here because I've been using it, but if you don't see it, just type in web and you'll see website come up. Put in the name for the website, so give it a, a friendly name, and one of the things that I would do here is try to keep the names fairly short. And then for the URL, I'll paste the URL in there. Now you'll notice it comes up as not being valid, and that's because you have to make sure that it's underneath HTTPS, and then I'll put in the URL, I'll save that, and you'll see that I now have a tab for the website and without leaving Teams at all, I can go right into the website. I can look at all of the different things that I want to do. They're right here within the, the website. It's all embedded right within Teams. I'll often go in and I'll put in a website for my classroom website. So I have Frank's class and then I'll put in a URL for that as well. Just go ahead and pop the same one in just so that I have some of the structure in there and we'll put it to Frank's class and we'll make sure that we put a little S in there so it's secure and we'll go ahead post that in there and now you can see my classroom websites in there as well students can come in and read my blog or if this was the outdoor website they could come in and they could um, you know look at outdoor photos and hiking maps, whatever the case may be. But now they can go between the two websites quite easily without even having to leave the team's environment. So I do this quite often with frequently visited websites like a school website, a registration website, and in the rare case where the site doesn't load correctly, you can click and it will actually open it up as a uh, regular site. So I can go into the regular URL and go to a web browser in order to get to that site if I'm having any type of issues. But most of the time it works just perfect. I can just go in, visit the different websites, no problems at all, and it'll allow me to go in there, just reload the tab. Thank you for watching, I hope that was useful. If it was, hit the like button, subscribe for more tips and longer videos, and share with any colleagues that might benefit from this information. Thank you for watching, here's some other videos you can check out on my channel.